Newton's laws in application. In this lab, we will be using these force sensors that are also accelerometers to directly measure forces and accelerations and how they relate through Newton's laws. The big change with this lab is we will not be using Logger Pro, but Graphical Analysis, which is a free program on our house machines, and you can also download it for free on your machine. This is effectively the mobile version of Logger Pro. It does almost all the same things, but unlike Logger Pro, it can communicate with our Bluetooth sensors. So that allows us to do all of these measurements completely wirelessly. In the first part of the lab, we will be looking at tension on a string as it is pulling on a sensor, or slightly more interestingly, tension between two sensors. In the second part of the lab, we will be comparing the tension on a hanging sensor as it moves with constant velocity and not constant velocity. We will also be able to turn on the accelerometer in this device so that not only will it be able to measure the tension, but also the accelerations in, the, in that vertical direction and we will be able to directly compare the two. In the third part of the lab, we will only be using the accelerometer on the sensor, and we will be watching the accelerations as the sensor on a cart travels down a rack and collides with the wall at the bottom. We will then compare those accelerations and times to if there is a cushion at the bottom, or two cushions, or three cushions. One important thing to keep in mind while doing this collision part of the experiment is we want the same velocity at the initial point of impact each time. And we can do that by starting the cart at some known position, and then as we add a foam block, we will start the cart one foam block higher up the ramp. So we'll have the same amount of acceleration time and should have the same velocity at the point of impact. Thank you for watching this video. Here is your fun fact of the day. Isaac Newton was said to have only laughed once in public, and it was in response to someone asking why it was important to study Euclid.